not too bad, not too bad. Hello, it's me. Yeah, we're gonna play some more Minecraft today. Um, I was going to make an iron farm, but then I remembered I still need lava and or pistons. So yeah, I think for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on that anyway, and then just overall work on getting our farms set up, getting villages good. We do want to get a lot of wood, so I'm gonna make a couple more axes. Just gonna cut these down. I do also want to expand our carrot farm there. We want to have all of that filled up ideally, so that then we can trade with the villagers. I think it was 22 carrots for an emerald, which is pretty rough, but we can make that work. Yeah, we've only got about half the logs we need to make another layer on that. This has got some carrots that are grown now. Yeah, I said I think I want to do five layers on that, so we're going to need quite a bit of wood. I'm not going to do them all at once, I don't think. I could, I could use some bone meal, like... We have some bones. Quite a few, actually. And there's nothing else that we're going to use them for, really. I think we have enough to make that next layer now, so I'm going to do that. Okay. And then we go up two more. Probably not the smartest idea, sprinting parkour on this kind of height. But yes, now we just need to place in all the water. I don't know what fully grown potatoes look like in the new texture pack, I'm only used to the old one. Now, if we want to like make this actually like really fast, what we can do is go up about 120 blocks and then that should work quite nicely I do not like wasting resources pretty sure I've died in the void before trying to catch an item I accidentally dropped while making a map art okay so to make one of these layers we have used two stacks and something a, a, it takes a just under three stacks to do. Let's make ourselves a few more axes and we'll we'll do all of that again. Now I was saying yesterday um, how we still haven't gotten a wandering trader which we actually really need to spawn whilst we're not getting a lot of blocks. What I'm gonna try doing is taking a bell from from the uh, village and putting it in my base because I'm pretty sure what they're supposed to do is like go towards the bell if you have one in your base. Well, I don't know, I might be smoking crack, but I thought I read that yesterday when I was looking it up. I really need to like stream Osu because I like playing that game quite a lot and it's something I could play like pretty brain dead, you know. Like Minecraft, I actually do think because I'm trying to. I constantly think, what do I do next? How can I just like improve what I'm doing? How can I get to my next place faster? Oh, you see, I just click, aim and tap, you know. Yeah, what do you guys think of Osu streams? Um, I'm not amazing. I'm currently trying to have seen my first six star map. I can play eight stars. So you'll just be watching me rage at my lack of skill. I also don't know how to actually stream Osu, because like, copyright and music and all that. But I'm pretty sh I I'm pretty sure that uh, the featured artists are okay to stream, and then the non-featured aren't. So then, like, I need to actually go through my library and figure out what I can stream and what I can't. But that just sounds more, more effort than it's worth, really. Pretty fast at this once I know what I'm doing. Well, once I like remind myself of what I'm doing properly, and then uh, have all the materials ready to me. So that took. We started with three stacks minus two of logs. We have this much planks left plus one more because I think one did pull down here. Yeah. 
yeah, just under two and a half stacks it takes, or just over two and a half stacks, um, to do one layer. So we know what to do now, basically. I really need to, like, put in some, uh, stoppers. Uh, so trees don't grow this big. You know, I actually used some Minecraft music, um, for a university assignment <laughs> the other day. Um, I was making a video on black holes, um, as like an independent research project for a module about stars and like we could do we could research just about anything we wanted as long as it you know had something to do with the module and you know black holes kind of like the end of stars so I researched that even though I already knew most of it so it wasn't really research it was just slapping my knowledge together obviously without too heavy maths because general relativity go brr and so obviously I needed some like music in the background and the kind of music that works well with those is like kind of casual piano stuff. So I think I I either used this song or it was another one by Aaron, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, it worked quite well. Um, it was only it was only a little snippet of the Minecraft music. Everything else was then uh, replaced by other music. Yeah, then that video is probably not gonna see the internet ever because they may think I plagiarized or something. Nice. And we've, we've already made some profit. That's, that's like two emeralds. Wow. Two whole emeralds from that one villager. This will be the last layer that we do, I think. I don't think we're going to need any more. Especially with a platform. With AFK. I forget how big I've made this before. Because I made this once in like a really old survival world. Like That was my first proper survival world. That lasted me a long time. I'm very nostalgic about it because I had some very good times there. Before I was any good at the game, like I was playing on peaceful, and then occasionally I'd be like, "Oh, time, time, time to go, time to go to like easy mode, so I can run my mob farm for a few minutes." <laughs> I was actually too scared, but you know, it was chill. It was chill times. I do have it, like on this. I've carried it over across all of my computers, and then one in my LP world. Now the one in my LP world, I want to say it was either ten or twelve high. Maybe, maybe it was only eight high. Eight, eight layers high. It might have been only eight layers high. Now, I'm gonna keep this water here for now. But yeah, that's done. Hopefully, it's gonna work well. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to pillar up a bunch and make a platform. Minus 60 plus 120 is gonna be 60, so we need to go up to Y60. And for any non-technical players, the reason we do this is because mobs don't spawn 128 blocks away from the player. That means we're not going to have any slimes spawning on the ground. You can already see some of them are despawning as we're jumping up and down. They, they're not just not being rendered, they're, they're actually just being despawned. Water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the center, right here. So we just stand in the center here. Could be all Gucci. I am obviously absolutely terrified of falling off. It's kind of a dumb thing I would do. Right, so we've got our water over there, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to place water over here. And we'll be able to swim up quite nicely, I think. I'm going to grab this water over here on the way. And look at that. Look at look how many mobs we've had drop down in the few moments we were up there while we were building it. All right, so now we're just going to AFK over here for four minutes, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, I am kind of interested to see how many, how, just how many drops we're going to get, because I know it's going to be quite a few, but I want to know how many we'll get with the five layers that we have. Now, in an ideal world, we would have a hopper or two down there to collect all the drops. Really hoping for some iron. We, if we can get a few bits of iron from uh, some zombies, that'll be amazing. We can see how many entities are down there. Quite a lot. Why are we at 60 FPS? What the fuck? 60 FPS is not ideal. In the slightest. What's going on with that? Three, two, one. Let's see what we've got. Not too bad, not too bad. Basically, three quarters of a stack of each item, more or less. Yeah, not bad. We got some bones, that's what we need. Anyway, let's head over to the village here and I'm gonna steal one of the bells. Now, I thought there was one around here. There it is. So many glow squids, I wonder exactly how many there are, because I can only see like those ones down there, and there's five on the bottom layer, at least five, could be more. Anyway, 
bell. I should make an iron farm, but I really don't want to right now because the villagers are just too much of a pain to work with and I'm not in the mood for that. I think what I want to do is just some fishing. I'm just gonna fish, you know. I'm gonna fish over here. What I'm hoping for is a saddle. That as, soon as, as soon as I find a horse, I can have a horse to ride on and I don't have to worry about using up all my food to ride around places. Got a tripwire hook. That's the best thing we've gotten so far. Another word. Whoa, okay. What, what's going on? What's going on? Two tripwire hooks in a row. Next thing I get is going to be a cod. But the next thing after this is going to be a lure 3, luck of the sea 3, unmending, unbreaking 3 fishing rod on like one durability. <laughs> no, it was a salmon. Alright, we're going to continue fishing because I really need that saddle. Now, I think I've only seen one horse so far, and it was in a village, so I need to try to remember which one it's in. Um, but the reason that's important is because I haven't seen any horses spawning, what the fuck? Again, I don't remember when this change happened, but like, horses used to spawn quite frequently. Like, just in general, passive animals. There used to be loads of them all, like, everywhere in Super Flat Worlds, and now there's like none. Now, I do remember, I was talking about that one world I had, like, that was my first proper world, where I only played on Peaceful. Now, I went fishing for string, and I was very sad that I wasn't getting any, and then on my very last um, reel before the uh, uh, fishing rod broke, I did get a piece of string. It was very many years ago, like nine years ago probably now. Eleven years ago? Ten or eleven years ago. Quite a while back. Yeah, that's a very ugly thing. And it's going to stick around for quite a while, because... I'm not going to be getting enough materials to build like a really good mob farm for any time soon. Basically until we've defeated the Ender Dragon multiple times. And then I can tear down the Obsidian Towers. I suppose I could just tear down the tower and then all respawn and then we have infinite obsidian that way, technically. But I don't want to do that because that's just boring. I want to have like a lava farm and then with that we can semi-automate guessing obsidian. We got string! <laughs> we got string! I do want to like get obsidian though. I want to go to the nether. It will not only expand our block palette, but it will allow us to get to the end. Let's just do a few quick chores. Let's um, harvest this and um, check up on the mob farm and we'll call it a day. Okay, we've got a lot of carrots there now. That's what, like three emeralds? Yeah. Alright, and let's go check up on this mob farm real quick, and we'll call it there. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of stuff. I wouldn't expect there to be much. There's like basically nothing. Yeah, that's gonna conclude it there. Um, nothing really interesting today. Just tried to get a saddle, I guess. Um, we finished up the mob farm, so that's good. Next time, definitely need to try get the iron farm. Bye.